Okay, Algebra 1 students, let's look at Unit 4, Lesson 13, Absolute Value Functions, Part 1. So we're going to look at absolute value functions, and this is a two-part lesson. So today we'll look at Part 1, tomorrow we'll look at Part 2. We have three goals, they're kind of long, so you might need to pause to get them down. So, Goal 1, given a set of numerical guesses and a target number, I can calculate absolute errors and create a scatter plot of the data. So we're going to have a situation where you're going to look at something, you're going to guess like some value of what's going on, and then we're going to look at what the actual data is, and we're going to calculate the absolute error, which is just how far your guess is away from the correct answer. But we don't care about whether it's big or small, just how far away it is. I can analyze and describe features of a scatter plot that shows absolute error data. So when we look at the absolute error, we're going to then graph it. And the graph will give us a certain shape, and we want to understand what that shape is. I can describe the general relationship between guesses and absolute errors using words or equations. Once we have the graph and we understand the pattern as it's going on, we want to then explain what that shape of the graph is, what the relationship is, and maybe even create some equations to model the situation. So our vocabulary is domain, all our possible inputs in the function, range, all our possible outputs in the function, and piecewise function, which is, remember, having multiple rules defining different parts of the function. And then our new words are absolute value, which is the distance a number is from zero. This is never negative. So a negative one is one from zero. A positive one is also one from zero. We don't care if it's big or small. We just care about how far it is from zero. All right, so your warm-up is just to take a guess. So here I have a picture of a jar, and that jar is full of blocks. I want you to guess how many blocks it takes to fill the jar, how many blocks are in here. So guess how many blocks are in the jar. Then tomorrow, bring your guess to class. We're going to collect the data from the entire class and then calculate the absolute guessing error. Last, we will graph our data and look at the results to learn about absolute value. So again, guess how many blocks it are in this jar and then bring that guess to class tomorrow that will start our work. Thanks.